You know, it feels good to be back in control of my... Now what? Oh no, not this time. Nightmare 3D is a horror first-person shooter developed by Grey Designs with design from David Grey. The game was released for DOS and Windows 3.x on May 17th, 1994 and December 12th, 1994, respectively. You know what? Out of all the horror games that I've played, this is the least scary. The plot is Hugo from the Hugo Adventure series out to save Penelope, his girlfriend, and rescue her from Dr. Hammerstein. Let the cliches begin! The list of cliches begins with the setting, a mansion. I'm sorry, but does this look like a mansion to you? There are also dungeons, caverns, graveyards, and every other cliche setting you can think of. Haven't we seen these settings before? Next on the list is the enemy roster. We have mad scientists, bats, Frankenstein, mummies, skeletons, and every other horror creature you can think of. Alright, what else you got? There are four different guns you can use, but what sets these apart is certain enemies are affected by certain weapons. Okay, I'll give the team props for something different. Knowing what weapon to use can make a difference. Now, what about the gameplay? While it resembles Wolfenstein and Doom, what sets this game apart is an emphasis on puzzles. So basically Resident Evil before Resident Evil? Who would have guessed? One other unique concept is when you collect and activate eyeballs, it reveals the map. Crystal balls reveal enemy locations, but use both wisely. I'm sorry, but Doom did this concept better with auto map. What also sets this game apart from other shooters at the time is there is no blood and gore. Okay, I'm well aware that you don't need gratuitous amounts of blood and gore to make a shooter. The game's biggest issue is the graphics and sounds. This game came out in 1994. You'd think that the team would have made something better than Doom, but nope. The levels look boring and the graphics don't impress. I'm sorry, but this was 1994 and people wanted something more realistic. And then there's the AI. You'd think they'd be more intelligent, but no, they're morons. To a degree, mind you. While some do an okay job, the rest of the time they're completely clueless. You can sit there and they won't notice you. Oh dear god, what were they thinking? You know what? I'm done with this game. Nightmare 3D is a nightmare. One star out of five.